Good afternoon and welcome to the Good Plates Kitchen. Today we're going to make an Almond Joy cake. And we have some ingredients here. This is cocoa, coconut, chocolate dipped almonds. We're going to make our frosting with jet puffed marshmallow, vanilla for the cake, and we're going to use melted butter in the cake. I guess it's a chocolate cake. It's going to have coffee in it. And of course we have flour, sugar, and milk. And we're going to make that soon, so stay tuned. This is usually an oil-based cake. However, this time we're going to use melted butter. And I have a half cup of unsalted butter that I'm going to melt. The ratio in an oil cake of oil to butter is one to one. So this recipe usually calls for a half a cup of vegetable oil. We're going to use a half a cup of butter. It's going to do two things. It's going to make it a lot richer. And the other thing, it's going to be a lot tastier. Okay. I'm melting this butter on the stove top instead of in the microwave because I would like to have a little tiny bit of that browned butter flavor going into my cake. In a microwave, because it doesn't reach a hot enough temperature, will not do that. The butter, the butter is melted, as you can see, okay, and it's foaming, which means that it's getting a little bit of that brown flavor on the bottom. This butter has to come to room temperature before it can be used, because if I try to put it into the cake now with eggs, I'll have scrambled eggs. We don't want scrambled eggs for our cake. We want melted butter. Okay. Okay, while we are waiting for the butter to get cool enough to continue with our cake, we're going to prepare our pans. This is a nine inch cake pan. I've already sprayed it with some um, cake spray. Baker Story spray. Now what I really want you to notice is this. This is a cake strip and what you do with this is you run it under water and get it wet and then put it around your cake like around the pan like that and what it does is it prevents your cake from doming because that just that little bit of water that's in here it cools it enough so that the pan the outside parts of the pan stay cool enough so that the cake won't dome and this is a, it's really wonderful it means you're not going to have to cut the top of your cake off you're not going to have even layers these cake strips are fantastic highly recommended okay the dry ingredients are ready this is flour I know it doesn't look like flour this is actually flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and cocoa. And I used a sifter to sift everything together. The reason I used a sifter is because we want to have a lot of lift and using a sifter rather than a whisk will give you more lift. It adds more air. So I'm going to add this to my mixer. Yeah, you could see the flour. Okay, I'll go in at one time and put this on stir. Okay, so now it's stirred and it's got extra air in it. This is a good thing. Now it's time to add the eggs. eggs. One, two, and the milk. This is a cup of milk. Since this is going to be an inside out almond joy cake, we really want to give it some almond flavor. So almond goes in here. Almond. This is from Penzi's, the best. 
and of course vanilla and that and next thing we're going to add is normally this would be where you would add the oil but this time we're adding butter so we're going to add the butter Beat this for two minutes. So we're gonna put it on, put my machine on four for beat. Actually two, put it on two. Okay, we'll be back in two minutes. Okay, now that it's been beating for two minutes, you have to add boiling hot water. Okay, this, it's a chemical reaction. You can't use cold water, you have to use boiling hot water. your machine on stir because this is it makes it um, it's very thin at this point so put it on stir so you don't make a mess there we go. If you don't have one of these beaters with edges I highly recommend getting them you still have to scrape a little but not nearly as much they're really wonderful there'll be a link in the description Okay, okay, I have put the batter in the pan, so you see they both have their cake strips on them, and they're going to go into a 350 degree oven, and they will be baked for 30 minutes, and we're going to check at 25 just to make sure. They're done when a toothpick comes out clean. Okay, see you in 30 minutes. Okay, the cakes are out of the oven, and I want you to see that because we used the cake strips, look how nice and flat these cakes are. I mean, they are flat, there is no doming, and that's exactly how we want a cake. Okay, the cake is out of the oven, and it is cooled, and it's now time to make the frosting, which we're going to be doing now. And we are making this with marshmallow cream, marshmallow cream, a vanilla extract, powdered sugar, a little bit of almond extract, and of course, butter. All right, we'll do that. You want to beat it until it is nice and fluffy and thoroughly mixed. If parts of it come loose, stop the mixer. And there we have it, the Inside Out Almond Joy Cake, complete with coconut, chocolate covered almonds, beautiful marshmallow frosting. I'm going to cut into it. Next time on The Good Plate.